Hi everybody, welcome to my channel, Texas Yarn Lover. This is Aurora. Thank you for joining me. Today's tutorial is going to be how to make these hoop earrings. These are, I call these my scallop beaded earrings. And it's just a regular hoop. This example that I'm showing you are on red hoops. These are painted hoops bought from the store. I did not paint these myself. And you're going, the materials that you're going to need are the hoops of any size, any color that you would like. You're going to need a crochet hook. You can either work with a B hook, which is a lot simpler. Your stitches are going to be a little bit bigger. Or a uh, number 7 steel crochet hook, a 1.65 millimeter crochet hook. You're going to need beads of your liking to match your thread and some uh, either crochet thread, cotton thread, whatever you call it. I'm using a number one thickness uh, thread. This is actually crystal from Omega and it's actually a teal. It's I think it's showing up like a like a royal blue but it, it's actually a teal and I'm going to show you how to crochet these earrings so if you're interested just keep watching. The first thing you want to do is feed your beads onto your thread so what I take is a regular sewing needle and the reason I do this is because I want to make sure guarantee myself that this needle is going to go through my bead hole. If the beads are too tiny then their, their hole that you're going to go through is going to be even tinier. And see, this bead is too small for this needle. Now, this is a smaller one. Now, if I try the other one that's larger in the same pack of beads, this one does go through. So it just depends on what size your bead is, is what type of needle you're going to go, you're going to need. Try to use as thin as possible needle that you have. Nothing with a big eye or, you know, a thick shaft because it, it's not going to help you feed your, your beads through there. Okay? And you can load up as many as you want. The extras you can just keep pushing back. You don't have to use them. So if you only need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven beads, load up ten just in case. These hoops that I'm using today are a little bit bigger. So I'm going to load up ten beads onto my string. You can even load up the twenty beads that you need because of course you need two earrings so you're going to make two. So after you do that then we'll come back and begin the earrings. So at, to begin with you're going to take your hoop and your thread. You're going to um, I'm going to need to loosen some of this thread up. Hold on just a second. And um, what you want to do is create a slip knot on your hook. So you begin by creating your slip knot. And for these dem this demonstration, I'm going to use my B crochet hook, which is a 1 to um, a 2.25 millimeter hook. I'm not sure if you can see that or how clear that's coming up. But if this isn't um, blurry, I'll post the size that I'm using down below. So once you've got your slip knot on your hook, you're going to take your hoop and notice which side you're starting on. Okay? I'm going to start, I usually tend to start with the pierce part first instead of the latch part on my left hand side. So once I do that, I place the tail of the yarn or the thread over the hoop and I crochet around it. And what you're going to do is you're going to crochet all the way around the hoop doing single crochets. Okay? and you continue to do this all the way around. How many stitches do you need all the way around? Just depends on how big your hoop is. If I put the same amount of stitches I put in this hoop on this hoop, I'm going to get a smaller um, 
area covered because this hoop is much bigger. So it just depends on how I want this to look. If you want this to look, you know, fully covered like this one from edge to edge, then you go edge to edge on your hoop. These earrings are very free design. You can do these as much, you know, as many stitches as you want or as little. So you you gauge your your stitches on your hoop. Once you finish single crocheting all the way around, we'll come back and we'll do the next part. So I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so we've done the single crochet all around the hoop and all your stitches are pointing outward. Now you need to flip them around to point inward. Okay, and now you're going to flip your earring around and you're going to chain however many chains, however big you want these hoops to be. If you want them little, then you would do them smaller with less chains. If you want them bigger, then you would chain you know longer chains and you know what I told you to flip them in but let's not it, it's probably easier to work with them flipped out so I'm going to chain let's see hmm, maybe 10 chains 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 okay now after I've chained 10, then I'm going to skip that at least that many stitches and maybe even more. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. I'm going to skip, go ahead and skip 12. Then I'm going to insert my hook into the 13th chain and try not to lose that stitch <laughs> and this is this oh there I go I lost it and this will be a slip stitch that you're going to do into that stitch so once you pull the hoop out or this loop out then you're going to go ahead and slip stitch that one this is too big of a hoop that's why I'm having more trouble now see how how baggy that is I think I need to skip more stitches okay because I'm not liking the way that's looking now if you want it to look like that that's fine the advantages of having a looser chain like this is that when you go and starch your earrings they will be more pointy towards the center okay and that's okay you can leave them like that um, I will show you a picture later on and maybe come back and attach it to the video. I'm not sh too sure. Um, but I can show you how to, how I made this pointy when I starch it. Because you can. You can make it pointy. If you don't want it like that, if you want it more, you know, curved, then go ahead and undo your slip stitch hook your hook back onto the chain and measure out where it stops okay so you're going to go back as many stitches as that is stretchy so right there remember this is going on the inside so you have to decrease your stitches on the inside if I can get it to go through <laughs> I'm trying to do this through the viewfinder that is why I can't do this okay let's try that one more time and there we go I think I got it this time alright so now when you flip it in this isn't so pointy it's going to be more rounded off okay I don't want to lose that. So see the difference? 
this isn't as pointy and when you come in and you can you can starch your earrings I didn't starch these because this is a bigger thread this is a number 10 crochet thread and this is a number one um, very f much finer than this one is okay um, I'm sorry that's a number five not a number 10 that's a number five and so now what you want to do is chain the same amount of chains I chained 10 one two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay and then measure it out and hook it to where it stops okay so that's going to be my hook, hooking on point I'm not even counting anymore the stitches you can if you want to and then slip stitch to that okay and you're going to continue doing this all the way around and see how it's starting to form that same look okay keep doing this all the way around chaining however many chains you want and hooking in to where they stretch out where they meet and then we'll come back and and do the next row okay so now I've done my 10 chains all the way around and I've hooked them on and this is what I have now okay now after this you're going to chain one flip your earring around and you're going to single crochet around this chain okay when you get to the middle of the chain that's where you're going to insert the bead and I'm going to show you how so you start to single crochet all the way across only cro single crocheting around the what I made ten, 10 chains and here is basically what I have right here right this is probably my center here okay now I'm gonna drag up a bead Let's see if I can get them in here okay and I just want one right in the center that's to my taste you can put five in here if you want it doesn't matter it's your earring you make it as fancy as fancy as you want <laughs> I don't think that's even a word but oh well so then I push the bead all the way up I hope you guys can see this all the way up to where my hook is where the hook is in the stitch then I single crochet I put the bead to the back and I draw hook on or yarn over draw up a loop and then I single crochet that bead into place okay so that's my that's my bead in place then I finish single crocheting all the way across the chain okay here we go one two three four five And, and then I'm going to slip stitch into that same slip stitch from the previous row okay and there you have it once you this earring is going to definitely need starching 
because by the looks of it this is way too thin uh, compared to the other one that I made so here it is this is one way of doing it now I can come back once I finish over here and then I can start chaining from here to here to there to here to there to there and and make a totally different hoop out of this totally different earring but this is the basic earring on how to make this one you can like I said you can do it any which way you want but that's how I did that one here and of course this is much thicker thread that's why it's sturdier it's thicker you know it doesn't need as much thread here I, I see it now that it's probably too thin of a thread to use with this with this design and but you can always come back and do let me see if I can get you can always come back and do this type of a design with that type of thread now that's the number one thread and that is how I did these with that type of thread and I hope this tutorial was uh, informative you know it was easy uh, go ahead and finish off your your chain chaining across single crocheting across and adding your beads to your earring and if you have any questions please feel free to leave comments or personal message me um, on YouTube or email me I would be happy to answer any questions and and do a little video tutorial explaining myself a little bit better if I haven't but thank you all for watching and thank you all for subscribing bye bye